Hey, thanks for joining me on Hiking Emergency Beacon. And today I've got every satellite messenger that I own right here. And I'm going to go through them today and I'm going to tell you what their strengths are and uh, maybe help guide you to which one may be best for you. But before I do that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. What I've done here is I've laid these out pretty much in order of how I purchased them. This is the, the Spot, Spot Gen 3 and the Spot Gen 4. The Spot X, the Spot X Bluetooth, Summer Global Hotspot, Bivy Stick, Zolio, the Garmin InReach Mini, the Garmin InReach Mini 2, the Garmin InReach SE, the Garmin InReach Explore Plus, and the GPS Map 66i. Uh, there's another one I've tested. It's the Garmin Montana 700i. My buddy Mike owns that one. I'll have some information up on the screen. It's bigger than these and it's really meant for off-roading maybe jeeps bikes mountain bikes uh, kayaks i mean uh, it, it's pretty big um, mike uses it when he hunts and fishes but uh, it's too big for me for what i do but i may be getting it uh, in the future when i do some uh, atv and off-roading stuff so i i started off with this spot gen 3 and the reason i started off with it is because i did i was i had just moved to colorado in 2019 didn't have a lot of money because I was working on trying to get our house in Oklahoma fixed up. But I wanted to get into the market. I, I had seen somebody up here at the Rocky Mountain National Park and he had this on right here. And I, and I saw it and I asked him what it was. He told me. He was an older gentleman. He said it really helped him, his wife, be comfortable with him being out hiking. Uh, gave her a lot of peace and him also that he could call search and rescue, call for help if he needed to. Every one of these have SOS. Every one of them can communicate in some way. These two right here are the only two that are one-way satellite messengers they're very similar this spot gen 4 is just a newer version uh, I, I, will, I will point out also that these these here do not have global satellite coverage they're good in north america europe and a lot of places around the world but uh, there's places they, they don't have good coverage so depending on where you're at just be careful or if you travel a lot you may want to be aware of that i will say this is a great device this spot gen 3 is very simple, very simple to use. You can't hardly get confused with it. There's a few things on it um, as far as checking in, there's a tracking, you start tracking, custom messages. There's a few things that it, it's just, that's what it does. It, it just, it helps you to be able to call, search and rescue. It's only one way, so you can only send messages out. But for a lot of people, that's enough. Just to be able to let your fam family and friends know that you're okay is is fine now there's another message here uh here that you can actually customize this and i i put this one down as help i need trouble it's not a, not an emergency but um i need help and then they can see where you're at so the next thing i did is i bought the spot device now the spot bluetooth was later they're very similar but this has the bluetooth with it with it what's great about this device is it's got the built-in keypad if you remember the blackberries from a long time ago they had the built-in keypads so it makes it easier to type on on here and then you don't have like so if you well you can't type on this one but if on on this garmin enrich mini if you want to type on this uh to message to somebody you have to scroll around and it's a little bit cumbersome this is a lot easier it doesn't have maps both of these don't have maps it may not be important to you but but it is to me there's other ways to get maps so here's the SOS it's a it's a really good device the the one issue I have with with any of these um, that are large is um, they're harder to put on your pack say if you if you have this on your pack and I put them on my strap versus the mini on your strap this is just a lot easier to deal with it this one tends to the, the spot X is uh, these two they tend to move around a lot and and I notice that they're there you have to actually strap them I strap them down I have this connected uh, the carabiner and then I put another strap uh, to keep it from moving around so here's the the, the summer global hotspot these are all somewhat uh, dumb devices by themselves but in all of them can call SOS without being synced when they're synced they're very powerful devices they they have their maps they have weather they can communicate two ways you know one thing about these the summer global hotspot it'll use cellular service and switch to satellite service automatically you don't have to do anything so it's really nice when you're transitioning from uh, from uh, service to out of service the nice thing is when you're in cell service it's cheaper to communicate with with it than satellite 
The baby stick does not do that. The Zolio actually does three different things. It, it's a really great communicator. It, it'll go to Wi-Fi first, then it, if, then if it's not in Wi-Fi, then it'll go to, to cellular, and then if it's not in cellular, it'll go to satellite. Basically, it's, seeing, it's looking for the cheapest way to communicate. Uh, it's really, so if, if you're traveling around the world and, and you just want to communicate, uh, is, is your most important thing. I mean, it's hard to beat the Zolio, it really is. It, it's actually, I wouldn't call it a small device. When you compare it to the, the Mini, you can see maybe it's a little bit thicker because of the clip on the back, but um, it, it's, it's, I would classify it as a, a large device. It's a little bit cumbersome sometimes to have on the pack, more than I, I thought it would be, but it's a great communicator. Again, all these, all these three have messages, two-way messages, uh, weather and topo maps and, and more. Uh, there, there's different degrees of, they all have different topo maps, so it's kind of nice that you can actually, I'll have links to all the reviews of these, and you can see the differences side by side, and some of them I've compared. I haven't compared all of these, but I will be doing that. So the next thing I did is I went to the Garmin devices. All of these are Garmin devices. They're all inReach devices. So this is the Mini, which I went to first, and I fell in love with it. It's small, and you can still two-way communicate with all of these. You can still get... Uh, weather and and maps and all that, but they they're standalone devices. So you can two-way message. You can get search and rescue. You can't get weather not on these by themselves. But when they're synced, all of these can also sync. So you don't you don't need to sync these three, um, but 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 you can. So if if you want the convenience of you just having it strapped on your pack and you you pull your phone out and you got this real big screen um, it's really it's really convenient this is a i actually prefer to use my messengers satellite messengers with my phone with them synced so when i talk to you all about satellite messengers it's really about i'm going to be focused on how i use them i'll just be up front with you i'm a i day hike i fish i hunt i'm not the one fishing and hunting but i'm the one doing the videos so i'm out around colorado a lot and I, I don't need a large device. I don't want a large device. So even when I'm out videoing, I have a pack with me. And so I have a device on me and it's, um, I like the smaller ones. So these Garmin devices, I, I will just say their, their customer support, their tech service is, you can't beat it. Uh, and so I, I felt like early on, I was going to end up going to the Garmin devices, but I wanted to go and try all these others first. There's some great devices here, and they all have their strengths, and I will point them out to you, and, and I just interrupt here for a second and say, please ask questions. Uh, I'm, I answer, I try to always answer within 24 hours and, and, and even faster than that. And if you've got a question about which one's best for you, I had somebody who said they're from Europe, and you know, his daughters were... Uh, we're traveling to uh, Argentina, I believe, and he wanted, his main thing was he wanted to be able to communicate with them. And so we talked about that, and so it wasn't necessarily a Garmin device that was the best. It, it, could, it was, you know, may have been one of these two. Anyway, I always try to point you in the right direction. So let's get back to these Garmin devices. The, these are really small, I really like them, they're really powerful, they're best when synced, but it depends on if you want to have a cell phone synced, and, 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 and if, you, if you do that, it's always best to have a uh, portable charger. I'll have some information up on a portable charger. These three right here are really great standalone devices. I, I'm going to separate this Garmin InReach SE a little bit because it's based on the Explorer Plus, but it doesn't have maps. Uh, so it has most everything else, I, and I've done a review on it, so you can look, see in the description below and get, uh, do see the review I did on it. Again, it just it doesn't have maps, so I'm going to separate this from from these two at the end of the conversation. These two, the Garmin InReach Explorer Plus and the GPS Map 66i, this is a bit newer version. Um, maybe it's about, I don't know the dates. You can see them in the reviews on the description. Uh, the description, there's reviews on all of these uh, field tests. This Garmin InReach Explorer Plus has a, a real nice screen. You can see maps on it. You can see, uh, you can change the type of map. You can get weather, two-way message. It's a, a, you can sync also, and it's more challenging to type uh, on this a message, but it's really easy when you're synced. It's a great standalone device, and it has a long battery life. This is where I would say to people is, if you want a device for a long outdoor adventure, and it's maybe if it's real long, you still may have to have a portable charger, but this one here will last over a week. Well, specifically on this one here, when I'm talking about the battery life, I'll throw that up on the screen, the, the specs. The GPS Map 66i is by far the most powerful device of all these. And in fact, so much so that 
it's overwhelmed me at some points. And I've had to talk to Garmin several times and just find out different ways to, what it does and how to you know, best to handle it. The nice thing about this one, you can, on the, on the menu screen, you can change things. So the things you want to, and you use the most, you put towards the top of, of the menu. It has a slightly larger screen. It has a lot more power as far as functions. It's just extremely powerful. The menu's great. It's easier. It's a little bit easier to move around on the screen with these buttons, um, slightly more so than the, the Garmin InReach Explorer Plus. There's two small negatives for me on this, on, on all these three right here, and that is the size. It is, again, it's a bit like the Spot X. It's more cumbersome to carry around in the pack. It's not a problem, but I do notice it's there. The other thing is the battery life for this is not near as good as the Explorer Plus. And I would even argue it's not as good as the Mini and the Mini 2. Now, I really didn't talk about the Mini 2 yet, but I'll, I'll come back to that just in a second. So be careful on the battery life on this. I had this out on the segment one of the Colorado Trail. I noticed in the first day how I was using it, I had about half the battery life left. Now, you, people say, and it's true, you can, uh, you can change the settings so that you conserve the battery and it can last maybe up to a week. But that's if you're not in an emergency situation or have to communicate a lot. I was uh, dealing with a potential search and rescue issue and calling search and rescue with my son who was in trouble on the back side of the segment one trail. I was on this phone a bunch trying to communicate, not trying to communicate, I was communicating with him and the battery was running down really fast. So be very aware of that because if you're out in the mountains with any of these and yeah, everything's wonderful, fine, you're not using it, you check in on it here and there, uh, yeah, the battery's going to last a long time, but if you get a situation where all of a sudden you do need search and rescue, either for yourself or somebody else, it might be a day before the search and rescue teams come, and, and, they're, and, and when they can two-way message, they will contact you, message you, find out what the problem is. So all of a sudden, if you're using it and you're providing more information and talking to them, your battery's going to run down faster. I always carry a portable charger with me. One thing I didn't talk about right now was the Garmin Enrich Mini 2. This was my latest purchase, the GPS Map 66i. This was the purchase before that. Hands down, this is these both are still very powerful devices. The Mini 2 has uh, tracks that actually show up on the screen. You can see the route, uh, the trail on the screen. You can, uh, on track back, you can see how far you are off the course. It shows your tracks. It'll show the trail on the screen. And then if you, this is what I love about this that none of these others do that I'm aware of, after all the field testing I've done, when you go off the trail and you go in the wrong, direc wrong direction, it will give you a visual and audible alert you're off course. And then if you turn back around and you're on course, you'll one, you'll see your tracks, but number two, then you'll see, you'll get another visual and audible alert that you're on course again. Incredible and great feature because if you're in a snowstorm, uh, you're lost, you're at night uh, in a bad situation, and maybe there's cliffs and everything around, you want to know if you're getting off the course. I love the Mini 2. It's really powerful. It by itself is powerful. And then with synced, it's just about as powerful as these others when it's synced. The thing about the, like the Explorer Plus is it has an altimeter, a barometer, accelerometer. It gives you more accurate information at altitude, what altitude you're at, how fast you're moving. These don't have that. This one does. Uh, I believe these all three have it. If I'm, if I'm wrong, again, you can see the specs and the reviews that I've done uh, in the links below. So now I want to go into this a little bit more about in grouping these in different ways about really based on their strengths. If you want a simple and affordable device, now it's only a one-way messenger, but if you want that simple, uh, inexpensive device, you want to get into the market really fast, uh, to have something at least, then this is the way to go right here. You can still get the, the Spot uh, Gen 3, and I don't, I don't remember the prices, but there's some of the cheapest to, to, to get into to, to purchase. I'll have all that information, one on the screen and in the description below. This by far, one way, get, just get something on your pack. If you're gonna have, you know, the gear is really important. I realize that coming to Colorado here, Gear is everything, whether it's clothing, your boots, your, your, your backpack, your tents, your satellite messengers, these need to be one of the number one things you put on, your, on, your, on yourself. Because there's been times I've been up and I've been by myself, I'm starting to get altitude sickness. Uh, there's just different things that have happened through life that uh, have been, have been really nice if most of it, if I would have had a satellite messenger. So again, these are just great intro devices and I, if, if you struggle with money, whatever, these are way to go. 
Now, if you want to communicate, uh, if you want the best communicator, I would have to say it's the Zolio and the Somewhere Global Hotspot. Like I said earlier, this Somewhere Global Hotspot will transition from cellular service to satellite service automatically. Zolio takes it one step farther. It goes Wi-Fi, cellular, and then satellite. Remember though, when you're going satellite, you need to be outside of a uh, structure. You need to have a clear view of the sky. sky. I, I will say on a recent trip, uh, Mike from Mike and Rick Outdoors, um, that's another one of my channels. Uh, we were in Southwest Colorado and he has a satellite messenger. It's the, it's the Garmin Montana 700i. He actually upgraded to the 750i. The 750i can take photos. So we were there and we were trying to communicate he had his satellite messenger sitting in his lap inside the vehicle. And it would take 30 minutes for us to communicate. And I finally asked, I asked him, I said, where, where, where's your satellite messenger? Because when I'm driving, I always take my satellite messenger, I put it up on the dash so it has the best view of the sky. Now, I, you, it would be best to like mount it to your window or something or your dash where uh, it is more steady and secure. But anyway, get a good view of the sky. And he's like, yeah, it was in my lap. I'm like, you're not going to get very many satellites uh, communicating. Big problem. So communication-wise, these are probably two that I would look at. Um, and if, it, I, if I had to single out one, I would say the Zolio. You know, even if you're traveling around and you're maybe in your, you know, traveling around the world or you're in places where there's, you know that you're going to be in and out of, of ser uh, satellite service, but you don't need a map, um, you just need to be able to communicate. I would really take a hard look at the Zolio. That, that's probably the best communicator in my, uh, my opinion based upon my research. Now, again, I would separate some things here too. If you say uh, you want the smallest satellite messengers, well, then you're gonna look at these right here. The, the, the best my messengers for, as far as size, I'm sorry, I'll put the, Zo the, the Summer Global Hotspot in here also. These right here, you've got the Spot Gen 3, Spot Gen 4, Somewhere Global Hotspot, the Bivy Stick, and then the uh, Garmin Enrich Mini, Garmin Enrich Mini 2. This is blue, and the new ACR Bivy Stick is green. Um, same device. Uh, I bought this, didn't realize ACR bought them out. ACR bought them out, changed the color. Uh, their website's a little bit different. It's the same device. So, But these are the best for as far as size. If you want a small size, these are the way. Are the way. If you're wanting something for long outdoor adventures, I'm going to separate. I, I want to separate this a bit because it doesn't have maps. It's just, I, again, I say it's having maps is important to me on the device. I want to, I want to keep things simple. And I've had some people say, "Hey, you should just use an app. Uh, you can get the maps on an app." I, I agree, you can do that. But I personally have it have had struggles when I'm. Yes, I've downloaded the maps on my phone, and they should be available. But when I've gotten out, I've gotten on the mountains many times and outside of cell service, and I cannot access those those apps or those maps. Um, it's been a problem for me, so uh, I just don't like to use them. I don't like to use the apps uh, uh, for the map. So if you're on a longer outdoor adventure, I, I would be slightly careful with this one because the battery run down, runs down faster. I'm actually going to take this out of the way because for me it doesn't have maps. I'm going to separate that because I really don't use it. So if you want to, on, you're on a long outdoor adventure, this Garmin InReach Explore Plus has the best battery. And it's all, you don't have to sync it. It's all on screen. It's all built in. You, you can uh, use this and it'll go for a, a week or two. Um, again, that information will be on the screen and in the description below. So if you want to sync it, that's great, but you better have that portable charger to have maybe for your phone, specifically for your phone, and then even for this. Uh, great for outdoor adventures, uh, long outdoor adventures. So I, I would just say this is number one, my number one choice for our long outdoor adventures. When I was talking with, um, with Garmin, I was saying, I was asking, I said, is there a replacement? for the Explorer Plus. And they and the, the customer service rep I was talking to he said, well yeah, check out the GPS map 66i. So I did buy it. I didn't look at the battery life before I got it, but I would have bought it anyway. I, I disagree a bit. Yes, this is a replacement basically for the Explorer Plus, but the battery life is pales in comparison. So I, I think this is better if you are maybe on shorter outdoor adventures, you have the ability to charge more often, then then I would say yes. 
But if you're going to be out away from power sources and, uh, and, uh, and you want to keep things minimalist, then you want to go with the Garmin Energy Explorer Plus. If you want some of the most powerful devices, if you're combining them as far as power of function, then I would pull these uh, four out here and say the Explorer Plus, the GPS Map 66i are the most powerful. Follow, and then you got the Mini, but the Mini 2, I would put this up here. Um, the Mini is a great device. I, strong, I would highly recommend it. It's got a lot of uh, uh, great features. I've compared these two recently um, in, a, in a video. That description, that's be in the description below. So uh, you can see that. These are, in, in my opinion, the most powerful of all the, the, all the devices. After field testing all these, after talking with customer service, um, after handling them, uh, the quality of them. But I just have to say that the quality of the garments from their customer service tech support, how fast they answer, uh, their knowledge, and what they put into their devices, it'd be hard for anybody to beat it. Well, before we wrap this all up, I want to give you my favorite. And I don't normally do that. I, I'm go my channel is about, one, about being honest. I, I do the reviews, I, I, th then there's favorites depending on how you use devices. Um, but I, I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, I, I would say anything that's a real large device is, is not my favorite. So I'm sorry, Spot, you're, you know, the Spot X and Spot X Bluetooth, not really there for me. Um, I would <laughs> even say these three devices here, they're, they're big, they're, they're about the same size, but because of other things they provide, I'm gonna, they're still some of my favorites. The Garmin SE, Enrich SE, is also not one of my favorites because it doesn't have maps. If you don't care about maps and you have another way to have maps, um, it may be your favorite. I'm gonna take the Spot Gen 3 and I'm gonna put it over as one of my favorites for an, a different reason. These uh, three right here, the Summer Global Hotspot, um, the Bivy Stick and, and the uh, Zolio, they're not my favorites because, I mean, th I like the size and that's nice and the f they have a lot of power and a lot of function. If I were communicating again, I, this would be one of my favorites to take with me and I might do it if I'm traveling and that's all I want to do. I'm traveling. I want to be able to message people. Again, because I, I, they're kind of dumb devices when they're not synced, um, I, I kind of put them in my category of not the favorites. But again, when you ask questions of me, I'm going to direct you to what's best for you. And I'm going to ask you questions. Do you need to communicate? Do you have long outdoor adventures? Are you a day hiker? Uh, what, what's important? The, the mini, the mini, the, these here are some of my favorites, right? So I'll just put these here and I'll, I'll tell you why. The Spot Gen 4 is one of my favorites uh, just because if I want to keep stuff simple and inexpensive, I'm going to tell you take go go for this i'm gonna but i'm gonna keep this over here it's a favorite but it's off to the side the mini has was i have to put these over here because i'm going to end up with talking about them at, at the end the as i've already told you if you're on a, lo a long outdoor adventure then the explore plus is the way to go so that's if i were doing a lot of outdoor adventures this would be right here i'm putting my favorites over to the left here uh, but because i don't do a long a lot of outdoor adventures this one's a favorite but not the primary favorite. The the, G, the GPS Map 66i is a favorite also, but I have to. Um, I, I thought it was going to be the one. It would be my new satellite mesh that I'd, I'd be going to, but because of the complexity and, and all the stuff it offers, I don't I don't need everything it offers, and it's a, it's a larger device. So again, because of that, I. I will use it from time to time. I have the ability to switch my, my, my subscription over to any of these garments uh, and use them. In the past, the Mini was my favorite. When I wasn't testing and comparing and doing videos for the Hiking Emergency Beacon, this was, the Mini was on my pack, all right? But when the Mini 2 came out, it took a step down. This Mini 2, as I've already explained to you, has almost all the power that these two devices have when synced. But by itself, when it's not synced, it is extremely powerful still. And when you can see your routes and your tracks and it gives audible and visual alerts when you're off course and on course, I mean, that's powerful and, and, and it's small. So based on how I use satellite messengers, um, that is, this is my number one satellite messenger. So there you go. Um, I, if you've got questions, please ask them. Uh, I, I'd love to, I love answering your questions and 
I had somebody ask a question yesterday. It was about the Zolio device. Um, I didn't have the answer. I called Zolio and, and got, got the answer and replied to, to them. So um, I, I love uh, testing messengers here in Colorado, uh, doing field tests. So leave a message and uh, like, subscribe and share and turn on those notifications because you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. It's been great talking to you today, but uh, I just wanted to just go over all these and, and just tell you my thoughts on them. They're all great devices. Can't go wrong with any of them. Uh, it's just that there may be the one that's right for you. So thanks again for joining me here in Colorado and I'll see you next time.